Hey, do you want to? Sh okay. So it's still raining here in uh, in the. Wants to come up here again. Oh. Wants to come up here. It's still raining hard. Wow, you took a long trip yesterday by bus. Going where, honey? Butuan. Butuan. From here to Butuan by bus. Four hours? Mm. Back was four hours. So long trip. Eight hours on the bus yesterday. Mm. Why did you go to Butuan? To pick up my passport. And you got it? Yeah. So good, right? So good, honey. You're going to show the guys later what it looks like. Your brand new passport. Angel is so happy, guys. Why do why you want the passport? I want to fly. You want to fly. <laughs> Morning, Pats. Pats is online. We got three people online here, guys. Uh, guys, the good news, the great news. Angel just got her passport. She went all the way to Butuan yesterday by bus. Long, long trip there and back and now she's got a passport she's ready to fly she's really happy thanks for the thumbs up by the way the one thumbs up so angel is so happy now she's so very happy now does it mean you'll be flying to london Patsy is asking maybe maybe why yeah, not, why not? <laughs> I uh, I worked in London before. I know London. It's not the. It's it's an interesting city for a for a little holiday. You don't want to live there, but it's an interesting place. Hello, Visago Games, Visago. Where is where are you at, Visago? Like I, like I tell you last night that. Let's go to the. I mean, let's fly to the to the counter that no need visa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Hong Kong, Macau, um, Hong Kong, Macau, Indonesia. Indonesia is very near, you know that. Actually, last year or the year before last year, um, they had a new flight from Davao to Indonesia to a city in Indonesia. I think it's called. Um, Apparently, it's a very nice city, very beautiful islands and everything. Uh, Mana Manado, Manado, and it's just like very near. We could have taken a trip there easy. I, I'm sure that we don't need visa. You don't need visa. Uh, I think I don't need visa for Indonesia. Never been there. I like to go to Indonesia because the food, food is amazing. Indonesian food, the best. We have a lot of Indonesian food in South Africa, so I really like the food because we have many Indonesian people living in Java. We call them Malay, Malay people in Cape Town, Cape Malay. Carry a race here all the way, Ray all the way, so south side of Chicago. Oh, the night Chicago died. Do -do -do -do. Oh, Phoenix. Fazago is from Phoenix. Can you believe it? What are you doing in Phoenix, Vasago? Hey, Johnny is here too, guys. Johnny, Johnny, New York. Hey, long time. How are you, Johnny? What's the plan, man? Are you, are you hanging on in California or any travel plans? Pats is saying, how is COVID there? Did you both take vaccine? Did you, do you, did we have a vaccine here? Do we have vaccines here? No. No, excuse me. No vaccines here, guys. Uh, we have. Uh, we're not really uh, planning to take any vaccine. We're hoping we're not. Uh, we don't have to take a vaccine, but we can escape, maybe to South Africa in a few months without having to do a vaccine. But we don't know. Uh, I heard there is some vaccines arriving here. Not much. So probably all the rich and famous and you know connected people are getting their vaccines if they want it. Many of them don't want it. So. I'm not a believer of the vaccine yet. Uh, oh, oh, no, not, I'm not a believer in a necessity, necessity of the vaccine. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. I'm not a believer in the vaccine and uh, that it's necessary. I think it's necessary for a certain group of people, obviously. People who are in danger, a real, a real danger, like, you know, you guys already know the story, comorbidities and all that nonsense. 
I think if you're relatively healthy and you don't need the vaccine, why would you want to take it? I don't, I don't get it. Also, I think, uh, what are you doing when anyway? you're okay? Yeah. Um, I'm a chef, says, uh, well, Sago is a chef. What kind of food are you, are you specializing? Johnny says, I'm planning to get the hell out of California, ASAP. Where are you going, Johnny? Ray, did you like all that liquor pictures I sent to Angel? Did, oh, Ray sent you some liquor picture, right? Yeah, I show you. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. At a whole bar, right? That, that's nice. Mm. Very yummy, Ray. Very yummy, but we can't taste. We can't taste it, guys. Pat says exactly, but according to them, diabetes are in the are in the risk group. Yes, that's why I'm fighting diabetes all the time, guys. That's why I'm fighting diabetes. I'd rather do fasting. I'd rather do exercise. I'd rather take vitamin C. Uh, then I think the risk uh, of I think the risk of the uh, I think this, this, especially this vaccine, the ones based on the DNA, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's because they have changed the story so many times now. It's kind of scary. I don't know. If your DNA is programmed to, to fight the, the COVID virus, but is it going to be compromised or not? Can they really, really answer that? Your, your immune system, maybe your immune system will be good at fighting COVID, but nothing else. And then all the time, obviously, you're going to need boosting shots. They have said it. One, two is not enough. Three is not enough. And every day and every day now, there is a new variety. So, guys, it's becoming just like that. Just like, I said this from the beginning anyway. It's just like the fucking flu. Flu kills millions of people. You have vaccines, you have boosters, and you have to do it every fucking year. There is no difference. I never had a flu flu shot, and I'm not planning to get one unless I'm getting to maybe 99 years old, or if I ever get there. So all of this is fucking utter nonsense, in my opinion. I think I may have had COVID again last week, actually, to be honest. Uh, third time lucky. I think I may have had COVID again last week, guys, because last week I was kind of really sick, really weird fucking feeling just a whole fucking week. Until now, I'm not feeling 100%, but my taste but my taste disappeared at one point. I was eating and I was like, eh, I can't taste anything, and it was really weird. And I did feel like shit. And uh, Angel got, got a little bit sick. How, how do you feel now, Angel? Yeah, last week you were a little bit sick, right? When I after I got sick, you got sick. Yeah, it's just normal. Normal. You don't worry about it. Yeah. You don't yeah. worry about COVID. No. When you said that, when you said, remember when you said that again, I tell that sorry, from but I am not a believer of COVID from the start. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you. I Maybe think you, if I get sick because of the weather, that every time we get coming back here, it's raining. I think last year you, you got a little bit sick that time in a taxi, very high fever. Remember vomiting. Maybe you had your COVID then that time already. COVID is like a oh. flu, guys. It comes in and goes, and it's gonna come and go, keep coming and going for a long, long time. If you want to get indexes for it, fine. Uh, and yes. I, I think if you have serious uh, comorbidities, you should. I just take medicine. Otherwise, keep your, uh, you know, keep your resistance up. Keep your. Res I've been taking a lot of lemon, lemon, fresh lemon juice every single day guys and um i need to lose weight i need to lose some weight that's for sure um oops <laughs> i need to lose weight but uh, otherwise fine so angel how does it feel to have your new passport how do you feel about it i'm very, happy very happy huh <laughs> <laughs> where is your passport 
In the back? Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna get it for you. Guys, I'm gonna, Angel wants to show you her new passport. She's very, very, very excited yesterday. She was smiling and dancing and singing everything. I'm not singing, <laughs> I'm not dancing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, show them guys, show them little Angel. Angel is now ready to travel, guys. She's now a, a, a world. She's a world traveler in waiting. A world traveler in waiting. But I need ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really, I'm ready to go to this country. No need visa. I need ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> So happy, baby. And what is the name? Finally, there? finally, finally. finally. <laughs> so many years. I huh? Finally, I can fly. Can we, can we say you waited 26 years? <laughs> or how many years you wait for the passport? No, it's just uh, the, the starting of the plan is just last year. Last year, <laughs> yeah. It took, took almost one year to get it. Um, and the name, the name inside is, is, is very suitable now. We are ready to roll. We can go, right? Yes. Your name is already changed. Yes. Wow. You open your passport just very quickly. We just show the, the last name. So guys, guess what? And the name is already adjusted. So basically we can, uh, we're allowed to apply now for, for a good South African visa. Angel's name is already under my name. So the next step now is going to contact the embassy in Manila. Get them to uh, wait. Let me show you guys. So our so this again. Many guys were doubting us. Many people were really doubting us. Let me show. Where is the name? Where is the name? Yeah. Uh, Here. Where? Where? That oh, there, Williams. yeah, 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 Williams. There you go, Williams, Angel, Abukai. Angel, Angel, Abukai, Williams, right, guys? Yeah, so, we are married, <laughs> so we are legally married. Many people last year were, were most all my friends were telling me there's no because we got married in about in an amazing ceremony that took like five minutes, guys, and we had zero, 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 zero paperwork, we had zero. We never got asked any question, any requirement, nothing. It was just psh, five minutes, you're married. And everybody was saying, no, no, no. Because, uh, you know, guys, seriously, I'm not kidding you guys. Here in the Philippines right now and even abroad, I would say the vast majority of people or foreigners that I know, either they are they fall into two categories. The, the first group, they want to get married and they cannot. They're fucking struggling with documents and visas and requirements and bullshit yeah because because if you are a foreigner then you if you want to get married you need a letter from your embassy and you need to wait six months before you can get that letter if you're lucky if you're lucky if you're not lucky most of these guys have been waiting years that's one group the second group are those that are want to get it, they want their want to be wives or girlfriends they want them to divorce so they, or they want to divorce so you have two groups of foreigners here and they, they, these are the vast majority they're trying to get married and the others are trying to get divorced or trying to get their want to be wives to divorce or or whatever so it's fucking insane in this country guys when it comes to getting married so and so and I even know people who are who, who already gotten married and waiting for their paperwork. Some of them waiting over a year to get their paperwork from the government. So it's a fucking humongous mess. But here, Angel and me just came five minutes, boom, married. A few months later, here's your here are your papers, married legally registered. Despite everyone telling us there's no way that marriage is legal, you will it will never ever be recognized by anyone. It's a fucking spoof marriage, blah blah blah, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. And look now, here we are. That she got her passport yesterday. The name is there, fully registered. This this marriage is legal and fully legal, fully like recognized. And I'm gonna fucking. Get it recognized in South Africa now. The next step today or today, I'm gonna start contacting my that's embassy. That's why I said. That's why I said I'm I'm done with my side, Franklin. It's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> now the onus is the onus for the bonus is on Frank. Uh, the bonus is gonna be the visa, guys. The good visa. 
I don't want a shitty little one month visa and shitty little rules and shit. Well, I want to get a two year visa for Angel so that she, the two year visa means she has her, uh, res- she basically has residence already. She can immediately start to do anything she wants in my country. She can start to work, set up a business, buy a property, everything well, for that uh, spousal, it's called spousal visa. So she has full rights, the same rights as me, basically, only, only voting rights and who, who fucking cares about voting. Um, and then uh, after two years, um, I'm, she's, she will apply for a permanent resident, which means she's le- a legal South African citizen. And then she's a free human being for the first time in her life. She, she will be free, free from all this fucking bullshit in this country as well. So guys, this is the plan. This is the plan, man. Hey, let me have a Hey guys, why only three thumbs up? Look at Angel, she's so happy now. <laughs> I love your little passport, honey. I can't wait for you to use it. I can't wait for you to use it. Can't wait. We're gonna be using it soon. I hope you, re- you know that. Maybe three to four months, four months max. I think our first stop is going to be Hong Kong or Macau. Hong Kong or Macau, you want to go? Hong Kong or Macau? No. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Hong doing Kong the, or Macau. Oh, man. I am doing the DFC. I mean, I pick up my passport. I just get in there and give the receipt and they give it back to me. Then. I'm really happy. <laughs> <laughs> you were almost dancing or not? When you call my name, last, when you call my last name, Williams, then you give it to me. Yes, finally. <laughs> You're a Williams now, officially, right? <laughs> oh, shit, guys. Finally. I, I Then I call you and I go yeah. and just go outside the door. I call you. Oh, <laughs> 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 Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, because it's really, uh, I mean, before they said it's easy to get this and now, but now that pandemic, it's hard to get any Anything. ID from the government. government because they use the pandemic. Yeah, so you had to work really hard to get your passport. Huh? For many months. Wow. It's amazing now, since last year, you got two ID cards. You never had ID before. Now you got two ID cards. You yeah. have. You never had bank, uh, state the bank uh, account before. Now you have two bank accounts, yeah. but no money or some or two, or not much, right? Or but you're saving some money now. Or something. The other one I did not use. The other one I use because it's international. Okay, you got one international bank account, one local, yeah. and now you got your passport. You got two ID cards, passport, and bank accounts. Wow, isn't that amazing, one guys? One last more step. What? Visa. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need visa to go to many countries. Yeah, you know? right. Only, oh, well, you need visa to come to South Africa. That's correct. But we, we not only do we want a visa, we want a good visa, guys, a really good visa. Not only the shitty little holiday visa. We want a real, boom, two years minimum. Start off, boom. And then we want to apply immediately in South Africa for uh, permanent. So we don't have to worry about that. Phoenix, hello from Southside Chicago, planning to get the hell out of California. Whatever the restaurant wants me to make, I have a degree in culinary arts. I like to cook French and Italian. Wow, 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 what's our goal? So what, do you, what kind of French, can you recommend any French dishes that you, that you make and maybe you can talk to Angel about it, you know? Italian, I presume, is, is the normal pasta, spaghetti, the pizza, right? Brian Hatcher, so happy for you guys. Step by step, congrats. Angel will fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> correct, Brian. Correct, correct. We're all happy. Diabetics. Diabetics are in danger, guys. Fight your diabetes. Fight it. Like me, I'm trying to fight back, thinking about heading back to Guadalajara. 
Hmm. Well, I would like to go to Mexico, guys, honestly. I would really like to go. Uh, Cryonix, Cryonix. Angel is sick. Angel, how are you feeling now? No, you're, you're okay, right? Yeah. Much I, better. Yeah. Still a, a little bit tired. Or, well, you guys, you had the long bus ride yesterday also. Yeah. Very tiring, huh? But, yeah, we were both very, I was fucking sick, guys, last week, seriously. I'm still not feeling 100%. I think I had this kind of COVID crap again, but. So, will you be going back to SA for good, Francois? Yes, pretty much. I think, I think this is going to be my final journey. Uh, I'm just going to visit. Uh, some areas around the world, you know, guys, I'm going to be visiting. I, I want to go to play. Well, most of my traveling is going to be done in Africa, guys. I really want to explore Africa, go to Sudan, go to Ethiopia, go to Angola again. I haven't been there since the war, the war back in 80, 84, 85. Uh, go to Botswana, go, go back to Lesotho, Swaziland, I've never been. Go back to Mozambique, beautiful country. Um, go to see, you know, that's the beauty of Africa. I really want to explore more in Africa. Go to uh, Morocco. Go to, you know, all this, all the treasure, the Somalia, even maybe, or uh, all these very, very interesting countries that is all that we can find all around Africa: Ghana, Nigeria, uh, Mali, and so on and so on. You know. Um, Gambia, Gambia, that seems like a fucking great little country. Um, Congo, Congo would be absolutely amazing. And the good thing is, uh, you know, uh, Rwanda, uh, Tanzania, Zanzibar, I think the um, uh, Madagascar, Mauritius, all these really, really, really amazing places. And the good thing is, I got many friends all, all over Africa that I would love to go and visit them. And I want to start my work, my work in Africa, man. Yeah. Outside of Africa, I still want to go to South America, Central America. Central America, my dream has always been, my dream has always been to go to Nicaragua, possibly Costa Rica. I got one good friend in Costa Rica right now. Uh, maybe Mexico would be very, very fascinating. Um, country, the culture and the food and stuff, and the tequila, Brazil would be amazing, guys, Argentina, um, and a few other countries, Peru, Peru would be an interesting place. Yeah, so these are the kinds of places I like to explore in the Northern Hemisphere. I got so many good friends in, in North America as well, no real desire to to go that side though you know or Europe even maybe in Europe I would I would love to see Russia Iceland Iceland would be amazing I think Iceland Russia um, maybe parts of Eastern Europe a little bit that's I think Eastern Europe would be interesting in Asia the, the only remaining countries I really would like to see would be Japan uh, I think Japan would be huh? The cherry blossom. Cherry blossom. Oh, yeah, Angel, Angel wants Japan. to see. Angel wants to go and see the cherry blossoms. Yeah. Are you in love with the the plants? plants. <laughs> I want to go to Japan to eat the good food. Oh my God! And drink the sake and drink the Jap Japanese beer, whiskey. Actually, you can do that in Taiwan as well. Taiwan, you get really good Japanese foods and and, and drinks, guys. But yeah, I want to know. I, I, when I go to Japan, I want to go and visit my mother, my grandmaster's, um, the place where where he was from, up in the mountains. He he was a family of ninjas. He came from the ninjas. So I really want to visit his place and pay respects, and maybe visit some martial arts do dojos uh, around Japan. They you get the foods, of course. Eat the fresh seafoods, uncooked, uncooked. But the problem is all the laundry are closed. Yeah, but they're going to be opening up again, honey, by next year. Next year, we'll be ready to really travel, see the world, spread our wings, right? 
And inside South Africa, the first thing I want to do when I get back in South Africa, guys, guess what? Guess what I'm going to fucking do? Can you eating, guess? Eating, eating. Eating biltong, biltong, the dry meat. That's the first, at the airport, I'm going to buy myself biltong and I'm going to start eating. And then the next step is I'm going to buy drovers, the dried sausages, and then I'm going to have a fucking braai, a barbecue with my friends and drink red, good red wine. But the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a big bike, big motorbike, a fucking big ass motorbike, like a 700, 1000 CC. So Angel and me can, can just hit the road, Jack. Actually, no, 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 no. Angel, we should, I'm not going to buy a bike, buy a bike straight. I want to take a train ride, guys, a train ride. Um, so maybe we will jump on a train in Johannesburg or Pretoria, Johannesburg, I think, and then go all the way down to Cape Town. And I can buy a bike there in Cape Town, depending on finances. But the bikes, my friend bought a bike yesterday in South Africa for, for like a beautiful bike, 700cc Honda, beautiful, beautiful, uh, for only uh, 1,000 US dollar, 1,000 US dollars, fucking... Here in the Philippines, you can buy shit with 1,000, nothing. Not even a shitty little, the shittiest little, smallest little rusty piece of shit bike that you would not want to pay fucking two cents for. They want to, they want them 2,000 US dollar for it here. So it's crazy. This country is so expensive, guys. Philippines has gone really off the map here. It's fucking expensive here. Um, so back to the good food, good life, hit the open road. Let's fucking travel and see this amazing continent of Africa, guys, by motorbike. That would be amazing. Stop in these little towns, do some videos, go to all these historic places in Africa, meet the people, eat the food, man. I, oh, that's going to be a dream come true. I've, I've, been, I've been outside for 30 years, 30 fucking years in, on the outside. <laughs> so guys that, that's the plan man that's the plan but there's still a lot of water to to flow into the sea to flow into the ocean happy wife happy life says brian look happy wife happy life isn't uh -huh. that true <laughs> just food for thought says marty joven hey marty how you doing buddy she does look happy, very happy, Marty. Brian Hatcher, Hong Kong, Macau Casino. Yes, yes, Brian. Let's hook up in Macau and do a bit of, uh, I like blackjack. Uh, no, I don't really like blackjack, to be honest. I do like a little bit of blackjack, but my, my favorite is uh, roulette. Roulette, for some reason, I like roulette. I don't know why. I don't know how you guys feel about the roulette. If you take Japan as an example, marriage and having children is an all-time low in Japan. That's what I heard. Visa is a scam dollar. It's a money-making government. Yeah, I know. Most countries in Africa, though, we don't need visas, guys. Thank God. It's going to be fine. Even angels, he doesn't need visa from most countries. You like Mexico since you like the Philippines. Wow, is that is it that similar? I thought the food was good in Mexico. <laughs> and the real tequila at least. Pasago, I like beef, burg, 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 non oxtail soup, duck confit, wow. Beef, burg, non, yes, fucking hell. That sounds really good, man. Mm. I love, uh, the, and the other thing I want to do in South Africa is ox, te, uh, ox tongue, guys. Ox tongue with red wine sauce. I don't know if you have it in French, French cuisine. You have to drink all their tequila and mez mezcal. Yes, yeah, so that's my plan, man. That's my plan. Marty Jovan. Oh, bro, Frank, I would, I would have gone long time ago. All those places, I'm not joking. The best traveling is solo, not joking. I never really like going with others. It's like a business conference with others. Yeah, I agree. But, you know, I've been traveling for 30 years, three zero years, since I was 25 until now, 55. I've been traveling solo, guys. And I've been traveling all around, all by myself. 
which is fine. It's, it's, it's really great. Sometimes it's fucking really bad, but most of the time it's it's good to travel solo. I, I enjoy it, but at this point in my life now, I'm ready to travel with my little angel, especially in Africa. Africa is more like a safari style. You buy your, you have your own vehicle. You do a lot of camping. We're going to do a lot of camping, honey. Do you know that? That means you, you have a little tent on your motorbike or in, or in your car. You come to a, an animal park. There's a lot of animals parks all over, scattered all over South Africa. It's not, it's not, it's not bad if you are with someone as long as that someone is not boring and easy going. Yes, yes, yes. And beautiful. Like <laughs> And gorgeous like angel my angel i want to and the exciting thing is you're gonna be showing her i'm gonna be showing her my country the all these wonderful amazing sights all this amazing things to see and do all this amazing food drinks culture music people the people are so friendly in africa guys it's fucking unbelievable so so friendly last time i was in south africa it was like about 10 years ago me as a South African, a white South African, I got invited into people's houses several times to sleep there. They gave me food. They let me sleep in their houses. People just meeting me on the streets. Literally, the first time they see me, they come up to me and say to me, hey, bro, uh, do, you have a, do you need a place to sleep? Come on. I got a house for you. I got a room for you. I got this. And people are incredibly friendly in Africa. So Angel is going to be really, yeah, really happy. The, I'm excited also there because of the nightlife. Yes. Party. <laughs> yes. Like the best parties. The best parties in the world is in Africa. The best parties, guys. It's uh, we call it the Joel. The Joels. The best Joel in the world is, Dance, is Africa. Dancing. Dancing. Drinking. Drinking. Music. The music in Africa is incredible. You can't cannot be beaten. Best drinks. Best nightlife in the world is Africa. I'm telling you guys now. And the people are cool. They're very friendly. They're very welcoming. The music is incredible, and uh, I'm just, I kind of just, I just kind of, and look at, Angel's going to be so, and she's going to be exploring it. She's going to be taking photos, making videos, and she's going to be very, very, very excited about it and letting her friends know back here in the Philippines, her family, everybody's going to be following her, and she's going to have her YouTube channel. Filipinos going to follow her journey in Africa. Angel in, Af Filipina Angel in Africa, yeah. And she's going to be learning some of the languages of Africa. Very, very exciting. I'm, I'm just, I'm even blown away. I'm so excited to show, to share this with Angel guys. I'm so excited, you know. And then we're going to do it in style. We're going to be camping out, and I love camping because you make a fire every night. You, you go and buy the fresh meat. You have a nice wine, and you sit next to a fire and. You play a little bit of music and there are people around in the camping area and you chat with them then you go into your little tent on your little mattress on your little uh, you can have a, a air mattress you sleep basically under the stars the beautiful sky of africa is so beautiful guys you cannot believe it and you hear the lions roar Okay, we uh, Angel reminds me of the comments, guys. So let's go there. Frank, you and Angel can stay at my son's home in Osaka, Japan. If you go, wow! I I would love to go to Osaka. This is an amazing city, by the way. I have friends also, but not in Osaka. In um, in uh, the, the 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 place, the Karate Islands. Um, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, I forgot my shit. Uh, what, what is he doing in Osaka, by the way? Hello, All Smiles. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? Congrats on your passport from All Smile. Thank you. Your finances. Hondas are nice, says Marty. <laughs> yeah, but I, I prefer Suzuki's, to be honest. Suzuki. I never had a BMW motorbike, to be honest, but. Some people, some of my friends tell me it's a really good bike, but I just buy second hand. The prices of the second hand motorbikes are really good bikes in South Africa is so fucking cheap. Even brand new. Brand new is half the price, half the price you pay here in the Philippines. And second hands are incredible. You get a piece of fucking 
rusted junk here in the Philippines for the price that you'll pay for a brand new spotless, not a brand new, but a good, great second-hand bike in South Africa. So that's why finances shouldn't be a big problem. All smiles. Finance is always going to be a challenge, guys. I mean, we... I don't think I will ever be able to have a job again. So we're going to have to plan some business and, you know, we just have to plan, plan, plan. Thank you, all smiles. So guys, please support. Angel's birthday is coming up. Angel, when is your birthday, baby? So guys, you can you can also uh, uh, support her for a little bit for a gift. I'm still trying to plan a gift for Angel. Uh, they're like the Toyota of bikes, Honda, yeah. I'm not really a Honda guy, guys. To be honest, I'm. I, I was. I've always been Suzuki, Suzuki. But I, there are a few Hondas I do like. The African Twin is fucking amazing bike. That's a beast. But yeah, my friend recently bought one here, over one million pesos. One million. In Africa, that would be half the price for a brand new, right? My birthday is next week. Yeah, next week. Today is what? Today 20? is. No, today is. 12? Yeah. Now your birthday is 23. 23rd, right? Yeah. So it's, no, it's more than 10 days. I need 10 days to go. Yeah. 10 days to go. Angel is very excited this year about her birthday. Last year was fucking totally horrible, if you guys remember. We were stuck in that butt fuck fucking city. Your beautiful wife is sitting on a gold mine. <laughs> gold mine, okay. Where is that, by the way? Too long, 30. I would uh, have not stayed that long in the Philippines. 30. No, I, 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 I traveled all around Asia and Europe. Not the Philipp Philippines. I was here in the Philippines in 1995, 96, I think, I remember. Early 90s, mid 90s. It was quite nice then. Some, some areas were really nice at that point. But Asia is over, guys. I would love to go to Japan, like like Brian said. Osaka sounds very interesting. Places with a real, a little bit of real culture. Angel is so pretty. Thank you, Anders. It's so true, buddy. It's so true. My friend's wife can uh, earns all the travel money abroad, staying in the best hotels. Nice. By videoing, you mean? Just continue your YouTube as you are traveling. Yes, I think you're right. That's what we're going to do. Pound 29, roulette is the key to life. <laughs> hey, Rob, how are you doing, buddy? Yes, number 29. Uh, this is uh, Rob's lucky number in roulette, I think. I don't know if you guys, I like kind of 30, 32, 33. That little corner of the table is more my 32, 31, 33, 35 ish sometimes. I like that spot. Rob is a 29 guy. Philippine Wanderer, how are you, my buddy? How's life in Greece? Greece should be a very nice country as well, I imagine. But many Greeks in South Africa, many, many Greeks. So we can get Greek food anytime we want. You got the third in injection, third or oh, third of June. You get uh, the injection. I thought you're getting the third injection already. You're gonna don't worry about the injections. They're gonna they're gonna just gonna keep coming and coming and coming all your life. <laughs> it's gonna be a nonstop. Ping 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 ping. Pasago. I've been going to Mexico once a week for the last month, getting my teeth. Work done. Wow, 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 wow. Where in Mexico are you going? Do you have any fun? Or is it not so much fun, you know? Uh, I'd get a Volkswagen camper if you go camping. Yeah. My, my good friend there in South Africa has a Volkswagen camper. I might, I might just borrow it. But I, I enjoy the motorbikes, guys. I really enjoy motorbike riding, especially the big bikes. And, uh, you know, in... Camping is, I mean, why? You can just have a little tent, you know, the little tent. Yeah, if you take the Volkswagen, it's almost like a mobile home, but I don't really want a mobile home. You know, I don't want to pitch up, pitch heavily every night, and gasoline is another big thing. Got to think about, and I don't know. I think motorbike and tent, that would be my 
preferred method of traveling in South Africa because camping is so nice in South Africa. It's camping is uh, yeah. oh, Angel wants a camping van, right? Eventually, guys, if we have a bit of money, we can think about we it. We have no money right now. Remember, we can't even buy a fucking it's, it's, toothpick. It's 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 noble purpose. Yeah. Live, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, eventually. Mexico is open now. They can they can tell you you're a good guy, so they let you stay in their home. Ah, says Mark. Yeah, good people in Africa, guys. Good people. Do you do your YouTube seriously in Africa and earn good income? I, some people do, huh? YouTube is now really taking off in Africa, so I'm planning to I'm planning to start my new YouTube channel. It's going to be called The African, by the way. I'm not sure if it's highly traveled by tourists in Africa, but if it becomes too many tourists, people will probably be less inclined to invite you in their homes. No, it's it's a weird thing. South Africa has a uh, we do get a lot of tourists, um, but uh, I mean the people are just friendly. South African people always been very friendly since I was very a small kid. I just remember I've been treated very well <laughs> by people everywhere. But it's not touristy. In, uh, South Africa is a huge country. It's not touristy like like if you go to fucking I don't know uh, Thailand for example. Thailand is horrible, right? Everybody knows that. Horrific country, horrific people. They hate tourists. <laughs> they hate tourists. They just fucking dig into your pocket all day long, <laughs> and they are very genuinely insincere in Thailand. Genuinely insincere, I think. Um. So you know, no, South Africa is not like that. Thank God. Thank goodness. YouTuber Harold Balder is in Tanzania. Nice. I've never been to Tanzania, but I'm sure it's a nice place. Did you take COVID? No. Uh, I'll be yours. No, no, no. My son was born in Osaka. What's he doing? Is he is he studying, working? Um, what's happening? Filipino don't know how to do business. You can't really bargain with Filipinos from my experience. You, you can a little bit because they are not used to it. So you just say, hey. and they were like, oh, <laughs> umping per me, umping. What is umping per me? No, I mean, <laughs> huh? Oh, umping per me. Yeah, 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 you hear it a lot. Are you going to live stream on Angel's birthday so we can super chat or PayPal hers? Yes, Angel. Did you hear what uh, Brian is saying? Yes, you are willing. I am. I um like I said. I am not excited about the celebration. I'm excited about the gifts, <laughs> <laughs> especially from. Uh, gifts. <laughs> uh, yes, because last year you had a very miserable birthday, my honey. I know that. I know. I promised Angel last year I'm gonna give her a nice gift this year because last year we were stuck in butt fuck. Davao. Frankie from Cali, tell me something. If you have family there or wife, you can travel to Philippines now. But it looks like a Filipino government scam to me on fees and requirements and quarantine. Yeah, I think if you're married, for sure you can come. If you are married, you can come. You can get in, but you need the quarantine. Yeah, so guys. You need to do quarantine. It's always scamming, always scamming. Many poisonous snakes in Africa. Yeah, like me. I'm a, I'm in the year of the snake, man, guys. I'm also a snake. Durban, South Africa is the most wonderful place I ever visited. It says All Smiles. Wow. How come All Smiles? Can you tell us more about it? I'd never been to Durban, by the way, guys. I'm really looking forward to visit there for, because I know there is a lot of good food. There are many Indian people. The food is supposed to be amazing in Durban, and the scenery is very, very nice, and the weather is good. It's never cold. Durban is pretty much like the Philippines, the weather. Go to Switzerland, says Anders, and climb the Matterhorn. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. If I go to Switzerland, I would like to try more of the food there. Marty says, that's exactly what I mean. Even you said you, ca you can bargain a little bit, so you may as well not bargain, especially since the price is a high scam to begin with. Yes, a lot of scamming here about prices, guys. Philippines is an expensive country. There's no doubt about it. 
There's no doubt about it. It's becoming a very expensive country, just like Thailand, just like Taiwan, just like Hong Kong. It's becoming very expensive now. It's not you cannot find many bargains, but I can find bargains anywhere in the world. I do because I do. Because hey. uh, the the, the, sa hold from the sailor when you, when they saw you is you are still far. They already they already scratching their head because for sure this guy is asking again a discount. <laughs> this twenty. <laughs> yeah, this twenty. <laughs> I'm the only one getting discounts here. <laughs> Nobody else. Yeah, when they saw you going to their store or shop, they are really like that to their head. <laughs> yeah, this foreigner, this crazy. Like, yeah, here comes the crazy foreigner. He's gonna ask for discount again. <laughs> I, I ask discount everywhere I go. <laughs> yeah, you ask discount, and if you like give discount, then then I don't buy. <laughs> what what happened to your oh? Uh, I want to show the guys the... It's not that. Oh, do you have it? I don't know where did you put that. Um, I want to show them. That's an amazing... Yeah. An amazing bargain. Thing. Maybe that on top of your clothes? It's not? French connection. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, is that it? Yeah. Wait, uh, honey, hold this in your hands for us, baby. Just hold it in your hand. So, guys, um, we're talking about bargains. I'm going to show you guys the best bargains you can find in the Philippines. There's only one place that you can find a real bargain. So let me show you here, guys. Look at this. The French Connection jeans, wide leg. and dead. Look, this is basically a brand new pair of jeans, right? Angel, can you just show them? Um, I want all you guys to fucking guess the, what I paid for this, for these jeans, and then how much I searched online, and and how much these jeans are really worth. A basically brand new pair of French Connection jeans, white leg, very 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 good, uh, great quality. I mean the quality is fucking just amazing on this. Very good stitching, amazing quality. Turn it turn it around, honey. High quality stuff. Um, stitching is immaculate. Uh, very nice, very nicely designed. Um, beautiful jeans. Okay, go, come on, guys. Guess how much I paid for this first. All smiles. The Indian women are super nice in Denmark. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Herbs also in. <laughs> Herbs, okay. We'll take word for it. All smiles. Yeah, no, no, no. It's true, guys. The Indian ladies in South Africa are fucking stunning, gorgeous, very pretty, and very sexy. Uh, I don't think it's the case in India itself. Marty finds Indian food is inexpensive if you eat at the buffet, but if you eat Indian food a la carte, it's usually overpriced. Not good value. Yeah, that's true too. If you, if I go to Hong Kong, I usually go to the Indian buffet, guys. That's very true. So Africa, Indian food is quite commonly available. You you know, Kenneth Latrell, morning, buddy. American refugees in northern <laughs> Luzon. Hey, Kenneth, how's, how's Luzon? How's the motorbikes? Ask Brian. Brian, my motorbikes are kind of. I need some work on them again, you know, just the normal wear and tear. They're really old, but they go, they're still going. 10 US dollars, says Marty Johnson. You mean 500 pesos? Angel, is, is did, did we pay 500 for that? No. No. No, sorry, Marty. 200 pesos, says Brian Hatcher. Did we pay 200? No. No. They are worth maybe $35, but here maybe 350 pesos. They're worth $35. He thinks they're worth about 2,000, 2000 pesos, says Kenneth Littrell, but he says maybe 350. What do you think? Yeah. Ukai Ukai stores, the best bargains. No. Brett Engineer in Mindanao. Hey, morning, Brett. He says 75 pesos. What do you think? Angel? No. No. Okay, guys. <laughs> it just. Okay, how much, Angel? 
How much did we pay for this beautiful brand new pair of look? One cents. Huh? <laughs> one cents. One dollar cents. It just, it just ten pesos. <laughs> ten pesos. That, that's correct. <laughs> online, um, online, uh, we. Yes. Uh, 10 pesos guys seriously uh, online they are going for 500 uh, 5000 pesos 100 us beautiful the the white leg the the white yes the, these, these are the the stitching is amazing stitching is so good these, these jeans are immaculate they are absolutely brand new spanking new really really great stitching everywhere the quality is amazing and the french connection guys so yeah 10 pesos you, you do if you, you have to know where to go, you have to know where to go, you have to know how to bargain to people and you will get bargains. I mean, I got great bargains all over Asia, all over Thailand. I still have shirts from Thailand that I bought in the year 2000. That's right. I still have those. Uh, I still wear it almost every day. I got 